Hey. Hey. Welcome back, man. Wake up, dude. Where you been? This is the Boss Coin YouTube channel. Did you forget? We are reviewing the Hash Altcoin Black Miner F1 Plus today. And that, my friends, is an FPGA miner. So this guy right here, FPGA, okay? Not an ASIC, but it looks like an ASIC. It's basically in an ASIC box. We're going to break all that down today. What does this miner cost? How much does it earn? Does it make sense? And just a little bit of the difference between FPGA mining and how versatile this miner is as opposed to an ASIC miner that normally only does one mining algorithm. Let's jump into it, guys. One of the most common requests I get here is, well, when are you going to cover more FPGA content? Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of FPGAs. I'm going to explain a little bit of that in this video. But if you're unfamiliar, an FPGA is a field programmable gate array. So think of a customizable ASIC miner or a highly specialized and thus expensive graphics card, as if graphics cards aren't already expensive. An FPGA miner uses bit streams as opposed to, say, loading a mining program on your gaming PC or simply just plugging in your ASIC miner, which has actually mining software built into it. And that's gonna be how the black miner F1 Plus functions today. It's basically an ASIC miner, but it's actually an FPGA. So you're gonna notice it looks like an ASIC miner. And the way you access it through the dashboard, well, <laughs> it's kind of like an ASIC miner. And naturally using the same fans, it kind of sounds like an ASIC miner. And yeah, it's uh, not that loud when it's just you know mining away in a pretty cool environment as you can see you know i'm just right here in my garage not in the mining shed so it's about 73 degrees in here and i'm just letting the fan do its auto tune and this is where it ends up overall the fan noise is just about this with just this miner on but let's go ahead and jump into the review of the black miner f1 plus so this is the website the company behind black miner is hash altcoin okay i mean what a unique name like they hash altcoin that's nah, just it's classic chinese nomenclature it's just you know they're, they're taking a name that's just as things you do and you know here we are and the miner isn't even black yet it's the black miner but anyway my point is that they have three models which i think is really cool to have three models with three models you have the ability to get you know their, their standard original one which was the uh, two board fpga model that you could expand to three there's a one board model which i think is cool you know lowering that barrier to entry as far as just the usd uh values involved you know if you really wanted to get into mining and you thought you know an asic fpga hybrid looking thing was so cool well now you can get into it for cheaper there's also their latest and most powerful model the f1 plus which we will be reviewing today all three models do the exact same thing but as you go up in the uh, tiers you're going to have more hashing power what i think is super cool is that they one sell hash boards so you can upgrade a model later on if you should choose to do so they also sell the fans in the cases and honestly, it's pretty cheap for the fans in the cases. So, you know, for 40 bucks, I could have a fan on the front and the back and this, you know, cheap case. I could see some pretty cool homebrew mining, uh, you know, throw some graphics card in their projects coming out of that design. So let's check the specs. The F1 miners mine 18 algorithms. And that's basically why it's an FPGA, okay? So if it was an ASIC miner, it would mine one of these algorithms really good. So assuming it was an application specific integrated circuit is what ASIC stands for, it would say mine Lyra 2Z faster, potentially. But because it's an FPGA, it is able to mine different things that they have the bitstream and thus do them all pretty well. Definitely better than graphics cards and some uh, earlier created ASIC miners. It uses about a thousand watts and this will vary depending on the mining algorithm as you know, some will be a little bit more intensive than the others. As far as the miner, it's got two PCIe slots on each board plus one for the controller. I'm just using a Bitmain APW3++ PSU on it and it's working great. One thing that I do think is pretty cool about the uh, F1 miner is that they allow you to get a free trial. So on their site, I'll have a link to it in the video description if you want to click it and check it out. I mean, it's at no cost to you and I don't get anything if you guys think I do, you know, from using their trial, but you can go ahead and apply for the trial, input your information, and then you can have it synced up, you know, mining whatever coin slash algorithm you choose. That's pretty cool. And that's actually, I would love to see that as like become an industry standard. So let's talk mining profitability. This is just a profitability projection chart. Okay. So it's not guaranteed your real world results will be different 
but this will give you an idea. When this thing came out a couple months ago, you were getting more like 15, 20 bucks a day, or at least 10 bucks a day, depending on the mining algorithm. Naturally, a lot more of these came out. Some other miners are doing the same bit streams that this FPGA miner is doing as well. A lot of people are having great results with Zen Protocol. You may have seen uh, the technicals review on the F1 miner, or maybe the Twom's review on the Bitcoin Talk forum. If you've been following this stuff, you know, they had great results with that, but that is really no longer the case. That's how fast things change in mining. You know, what was profitable then may not be profitable tomorrow. So as, so as always, be careful and reduce your risk when possible. For me personally, I went through this list. I tried most of the coins and I looked at my results after, you know, say a couple hours, several hours, a couple days, and I've ended up on Denarius. And I'm not shilling this coin. I don't even recommend holding it or anything like that. It's not financial advice. I'm a Doge dad, okay? Not your dad. But this is uh, the coin, and this is translated on CoinGecko. And if you run off these numbers, over the last 24 hours, I've made $4.22 mining this coin. I mine it directly into Trade Ogre. Again, I'll have links out to all the stuff I'm showing, like the Denarius to USD calculator, links to Trade Ogre and stuff like that in the video description below but I mine everything out to um, my address here. So straight to the exchange. And you know, after I accumulate enough that makes me consider logging in, like say we have this value, I can go ahead and just click that, load my value in, and then I'll come over here and put whatever price that I want to sell at. This isn't a trading video, but just for me personally, I've noticed that you know pretty consistently lately it's been selling for around 1100 satoshis or more you can see it really peaked uh, there but I just wasn't paying attention I don't really have that much coin that really matters all that much either so I'll just go ahead and put my sell order in. you see I'm way below everyone else and I'll just go ahead and wait for that to tick and sell personally I think getting anything for these coins is a uh, great success because if we come over here to coin market cap right and we go to this coin and you look at the volume it does, and you look at the exchange options you have, you will realize that you are doing great if you can sell this coin. Ranking at 1,403 by market cap, on coin market cap. And I wanna bring it back here for a second. That's the main issue with this miner, is it just mines a bunch of shit. <laughs> you know, when they talk about shit coins, like this, this is like the shit coin miner. A lot of FPGAs are just mining shit coins and dump, 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 they do. For me personally, how am I, you know, mining? I'm mining on this bsod.pw pool, not, you know, promoting or anything. I haven't used it too much, um, just a couple times with a couple different shit coins. But you can see I've been paid out over 2,000 denarius from the pool. And uh, I'm solo mining with it. And I just, I just think solo mining is more fun and exciting. But you can see... You know, I'm finding, you know, multiple blocks a day and thus, you know, just over the last uh, 24 hours um, now, you know, per these calculations, I made 115. Um, I was taking a different day, 24 hours, but you can see, you know, that would bump me up to almost five bucks at these rates. And that's actually with the 10, 1,043 Satoshi value. So where I hopefully will sell it at, I'll be getting at least five bucks. You take off the power cost, you know, maybe making like three bucks a day. You're not going to get rich with this thing. But let's go ahead and jump inside of it and see what it looks like. So, you know, classic interface here, what you're used to with ASIC miners. If you come over to the miner config, you know, what does this remind you of? Every ant miner you've ever seen and really most of the others as well. It's all using that same base miner software. I'll have a pool configurations set up that you can use in the video description below. Just for what I'm mining, um, this Daenerys coin is on what's called a Tribus mining algorithm. And for whatever it's worth, everyone was saying they get the best results with Asia. I tried out, I was getting good results with the Asia stratum. So, I mean, I'm in the US, but here I am mining on the Asia stratum. It works, I guess. <laughs> you can adjust your uh, difficulty um, if you should choose to do so and uh, adjust you know, the way you're getting paid out as well. So I have uh, both of those different options. I was just trying with that and without that. Um, on this miner didn't really notice much of a difference for me personally but anyway I'm getting a little bit off topic so I have all that stuff you can copy and paste it if you want it how you change mining coins on this is you're going to click this uh, miner general configuration and you're gonna go to different coins so say I go to ZP that'll be that Zen protocol coin and from here actually I messed that one up when I was uh, 
load them. But from here, you can see that you'll take, you know, those settings and then you'll begin mining Zen protocol. It's the same like OXBTC. You go in there and you can have that. I would leave a couple uh, sample configurations because it's a lot going on. It's not like other ASIC miners where it's always this way. If you click on the advanced configuration, you can adjust the frequency of these boards. And I do think it's pretty cool that you can customize the frequency manually by board. So say you have a bum board, you know, you can deal with that. Or you got some board that's just, you know, for whatever reason performing really well, you can uh, tune that up a little bit also. With the, you know, potential profits here, and just in the sake of not reducing the possible stability of this miner, I have not messed, pers messed with it personally, you know, adjusting the overclock. The miner recently restarted, but if we go and check on the pool, you can see our hash rate over the last 24 hours is uh, very consistent. So even when it goes down or restarts, it comes back online pretty quickly and you don't see any kind of big dips here in the hash rate. The issue here though, a little bit with the Tribus mining algorithm for me, is that I'm supposed to be getting 4.4 gigahash a second. However, you may notice on my ASIC status, I've got three X's and they all live in Texas. All my X's live in Texas like I'm George Strait. I'm not getting the hash rate I'm supposed to have. And that's due to some sort of error with the board. I haven't bothered to contact uh, hash all coin about this yet uh, but in full disclosure they did send me this miner to review with the daily earnings and everything i couldn't have justified you know paying that much for right now if you have a better lecture rate than me when i'm paying 11 cents it may make more sense for you but anyway uh just my point is just you know i'm supposed to be getting 4.4 giga hash a second and with half of a board down i'm only getting 3.54 on average and again if we come back over to the pool to reference our hash rate you can see you know even our poolside uh results never really show 4.4 giga hash a second except for like right here which that's going to be your submitted share so you know like with all miners and mining pools this is going to go up and down and really you know we should be averaging out around that 4.4 giga hash a second which would put us above or you know a line like that which again you know would increase our earnings would probably be somewhere around you know six seven dollars a day which would probably put us more around like six dollars a day if that was hashing properly you know with my current you know coin i've been getting so let's go ahead and wrap the hash all coin black miner f1 plus review video up with some final thoughts analysis and well should you consider buying it well first off, i want to kick that off with if you have a if there's a coin that you can mine with this miner that you're bullish on and let me tell you all these coins are smaller okay except for you know stuff like burge but you know that's that's a uh, multi-algorithm coin so you know you're really you're really jumping in deep waters if you buy a miner like this to mine something like that but if there's a smaller project like oxptc that you're you know super bullish on or maybe you like denarius which is it's an interesting uh, proof of work and uh, proof of stake combination coin you know like they're ranked 1400 they have a coin that's a hybrid and uh, we've got ethereum over here which you know can't even like do anything never mind <laughs> good old ethereum you know it's just great coin man yeah but anyway my point is just that if there's a coin mineable by this machine this could really be right up your alley as far as the price point goes i mean let's say we're making five bucks a day right so i just grab my phone you know because has a calculator in it, and I put in four dollars. Okay, so we make five bucks a day. Subtract, you know, we'll just round it out a dollar a day for electric. Okay, times three sixty-five. You know, a year. And over the next three hundred sixty-five days, if everything stayed the same, which it never does in cryptocurrency, we would make one thousand four hundred and sixty dollars. So at the current rate, it would take you know me to about two years to break even if nothing changed. That's a pretty big variable. Uh, but you know if you're bullish on cryptocurrency and you think we're gonna have a nice big upturn you know over the next year which i'm really hopeful we will but you know in this kind of prolonged bear market you know we don't know but my point is just if you mine say 750 dollars over the next you know roughly six months and that goes up four times well then you just had a nice payday but on the flip side you could mine 750 and it could lose half its value again and while well, you're on that track to never break even, keep in mind that new hardware is probably gonna come out and it may obsolete yours. That's always the big risk when it comes to mining hardware. You get in at the right time, you make good money. You get in too late, you know, you may never break even depending on your electric cost. And that's what's tough. At the end of the day, 
I think the F1 Plus is a cool miner. Sucks I've got one with a bad board, but that's the way it goes. I'm gonna reach out to them, and you know, if they're any kind of company, they'd send me a replacement board. However, dealing with these Chinese ASIC FPGA companies, I never, you know, set that bar too high. As you guys know, who have been stuck, you know, waiting on customer service from places like Inno Silicon and Bitmain and the rest, which, you know, those are the bigger names and it may take a while. I tried to have a uh, minor RMA with Bicycle Miner. Shit just didn't even happen. They're like, no, sorry, man. Like, we don't do that. They're not, they're not, they didn't cover the miner. Like, I got a DOA. And that, my friends, is why I think Bicycle Miner is the worst miner producing company like ever. And everyone always thought of their miners, myself included, as ASIC miners. But because they mine multi multiple algorithms, they're actually set up more like FPGAs and they would be like more akin and in line with things like the F1 Plus or the Zig Z1 Plus, which actually we're also going to be reviewing that FPGA miner that looks like an ASIC very soon. You may have noticed it in the B-roll footage. But anyway, at the end of the day, ultimately, final conclusion, I think that the Black Miner F1 Plus is a cool miner. I think, you know, now a couple months out from its original release, it's kind of stale. You know, the market's continued on a downtrend. Yeah, definitely has. And there's a lot of them out there and there's just not really a good coin, in my opinion, to mine on. There's nothing that I would mine on this thing in whole. So in my opinion, you know, you're mining and you're selling, you're cashing out into say Bitcoin or whatever other coin you want to hodl, right? So that's more work and not a lot of pay from it. Depends what your time's worth. If you do this as a business or a hobby, what your electric rate is, a lot of variables at play. At the end of the day, for me personally, I can't justify buying this miner. If they cut their price in half, I could, I could, I could get down with that, you know, have a one year ROI on something that's a little bit older, right? But it's mining multiple algorithms and coin. You know, hopefully you're buying gear at the uh, bottom of the bear market as opposed to just somewhere in the middle of the top. Okay, there's no way that's the top of the bear market. It's, it's been a rough ride. But anyway, that's my conclusion on the miner. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the Boss Coin YouTube channel and leave a comment below and let me know what you think about mining, FPGA mining, or whatever else you want to talk about because the crypto discussion is always flowing in the comments. I'll see y'all next time. Thanks so much for watching. I just wanna be with you